uh, it's not just birding, your, your focus is birding and my life list increased enormously through birding, the tropical birding, but it is a whole lot more and I think the guides are selected for their interpersonal skills, their knowledge, their enthusiasm. Uh, several of them are ornithologists in the sense that they're attached to institutes of ornithology, they're writing papers, doing their PhDs. So you get a whole different dimension from the many excellent people who, who are birding guides. But I think tropical birding may have an edge over many of the bigger companies, particularly the companies that are really geared toward making quite a big profit. So when tropical birding told me they were setting up a recce tour and invited six people who had birded with them before to join them, two guides from tropical birding and a local Bhutanese guide, I jumped at the opportunity to bird with them. And Bhutan, I have to say, was something that those of us who did that tour will never ever forget. High altitude, uh, birding with a backdrop of the Himalaya, blue skies, snow-capped peaks, stumbling out of your high altitude sleeping bag at half past four in the morning, bright-eyed and ready to go, off into the field before you've even had breakfast, birding for two or three hours with people whose enthusiasm keeps you going even when you're ready to drop, followed by your camping tour uh, backup team bringing you a wonderful Bhutanese breakfast in the bush uh, after you've been birding for three hours. I suppose the bird that almost everybody goes for in Bhutan is the rufous-necked hornbill. They're so stunning, so exotic looking, they're endangered. Uh, it took us, we were well into our tour before we saw them, um, we'd gone to a place where we knew they were and suddenly there they are in the tree, you can see them perfectly through your binoculars. The other five people on our tour were all keen photographers so all the cameras were out and I could observe the behaviour of photographers, bird photographers as well as the behaviour of the birds. I think that was probably one of the, the greatest highlights. I think my favourite birds were the beautifully coloured uh, cootiers and their extraordinary gymnastic behaviour when they were uh, displaying. Um, and not only birds, we had some excellent mammal sightings as well and I think suddenly somebody saying what's that black blob on a slope and getting out the binoculars and the telescopes and realising we were watching a Himalayan black bear and her cub foraging up the mountainside. Those are exquisite moments, you never forget them. Tropical birding just attracts to it lovely people and people who are just not after ticks on their own birding list but people who are so interested in birds and so keen to share their own enthusiasm that as well as the guides they're prepared to take people like me who are new to say neotropical birding or not particularly good birders under their wing and help them as well so you know, if you like you get a double whammy you get wonderful guides and you on most of the tours I've been on you've got wonderful people who are ready to help you uh, with your own birding and uh, want to share their own love of birding and experience with you. Tropical birding is just sensational and um, I really can't recommend any other company as highly as them for expertise, for enthusiasm, for very competitive prices, for the flexibility to arrange your own transport and meet them at the beginning of the tour, allowing you to add on um, a little bit of cultural visiting on your own. Well, if you want a birding company, go with Tropical Birding, that's all I've got to say. In Brazil I decided I needed time to recover from a long journey and I had their driver pick me up at uh, the airport in Rio um, a day before the rest of the people arrived and I was driven to the camp, beautifully beautiful camp up in the mountains above Rio and I had nearly two days on my own just sitting in the garden watching the hummingbirds getting used to um, neotropical birding to which I was a newcomer and relaxing and with some companies you can't do that you travel with them and then you start birding the next day however exhausted you are so with a company that allows you to make your own travel arrangements then you can build in extras as you as you like and that's for me is a big advantage